morning to one and all present here. Myself and Kalpana. I am from Sri G. K. Jain High Secondary School, Roy Bar. Today, for the 10th standard student, I am going to explain the topic is thermal physics. You should know the term thermal. Thermal is nothing else. It means it indicates the term temperature only. Okay. How the temperature? If you are increasing the temperature, what happened? It shows some one or two changes in the substance. Okay. Now, effects of heat energy. That means we know the three states of matter: solid, liquid, and gases. If you have increased the temperature on those substance, how it has been expand expansion? It it shows the expansion. So now we see the solid. For the solid, it is be a three expansion will be there. linear superficial and cubical expansion in for a solid first we see the linear linear is nothing else it indicate otherwise it should be a lengthwise so linear means length consider a, a cube of uh, length if you have taken a solid substance whose length has been measured whose length has been noted so that will be called it as l not that means initial length okay after you have been increasing the temperature so what happen automatically it lens will be length have been automatically increased that means here it has been increased to the certain extent okay that will be call it as delta l delta is nothing else it shows the difference in that okay for the initial as well as the final if you have shown the difference between the initial level as well as the final level means we have indicate the symbol delta okay so the l not will be the initial length so after you have increasing the temperature it it shows some changes so it has been indicated as delta l now we see the coefficient how it has been expressed in terms of the following okay coefficient of linear is delta l and l not that means the ratio between the initial length as well as change in the length okay and which is directly proportional to the delta t delta t again the change in the temperature okay so i already explained in some terms okay delta uh, proportionality which will mean it is a directly proportional directly proportional means if delta t is increase that means if temperature is increase means automatically the length has been increased that means it has been expanded okay so first so de um, delta l by l not which is directly proportional to delta t and we have to remove those proportionality we have given some some other constant okay here it is not be a proportional it will be a alpha so alpha l we have in the introduced the proportionality constant here it should be a l alpha and for it is a length no so it is should be a length l so the coefficient for the linear is nothing else delta l by l not alpha l delta t okay the same it should be for the superficial as well as the cubical superficial is nothing else area we know that if you have increasing the temperature some substance it has been increased in their area those thing that means it is a, a normal area after you have increasing the temperature it has been extend to the level for th the same thing will be given the same formula instead of length you have given the area a so delta a by a not alpha a delta t and next one for the cubical volume volume the same thing delta v by v not which is alpha v delta t now we have seen the units units means we, uh, if you see in the length l l the same length will be there if you are given the uh, unit for length here the same is also here so automatically it gets cancelled for the temperature the unit of temperature is proportion uh, kelvin the unit of temperature is kelvin so it uh, so the whole formula the either it should be a linear superficial or cubical we have given only the kelvin inverse okay and next one now we see the solid next we have seen the liquid here liquid we having the real expansion and apparent expansion that means in this topic we have seen only after the increasing the temperature how the solid as well as the liquid and gas how it has been expanded isn't it solid we have seen next one is a liquid real expansion and apparent expansion nothing else real expansion means 
without a container a liquid we have increasing the temperature only for the liquid we are not introduced into the container so the ratio of true apparent rise because it is not surrounded by any other substance unwanted substance only the liquid will be there we are increasing the temperature only for the liquid so that is why it should be termed as true apparent okay the ratio of true apparent rise in volume always the liquid should be mentioned in the volume volume of liquid per degree rise in temperature to its volume as we are increasing the temperature it has been the volume it has been increased and next one apparent expansion apparent expansion is with the container we know without the container cannot able to measure the liquid if you have said liquid means it has been kept some other container so it is not been possible that is why we have taken a apparent expansion apparent expansion is with the container the same thing will be there so if you have to find it mean the ratio of the apparent rise of again if you have increasing the temperature both the container as well as the liquid have been expanded but we never considered about the container only how the volume of liquid have been increased that only we should be noted that will be called it as a apparent expansion so after the solid and liquid we have seen the gaseous thing okay so from the gaseous the expansion of gaseous we have to find the ideal gas equation so ideal gas is equation is nothing else the behavior of all the ideal gases which has to be combined together to form that equation okay let's see the how the ideal gas equation ideal gas equation we have to combine three laws one is boyle's law charles law and avogadro's law so just we have to insert at the just you have to show the triangle a b c p v n t okay so pressure volume number of moles and temperature okay let's see how the from this is just for your remembrance okay so first one is a b b is nothing else the boyle's law okay how we have to uh, remember the boyle's law so for the b p v will be there so it should be multiple so for the boyle's law pv equal to constant next you see the c it has been diagonally so v by t for the charles law v by t equal to constant and next to one a a is an avogadro's law for the avogadro's law only you you uh, don't use the pressure okay the remaining thing will be there so v by n equal to constant so it is not given in your book it just for your remembrance only okay so we have to conclude at the boyle's law charles law and avogadro's law so these combination of laws will be finding as a ideal gas equation okay so for first one combining these three law first from the numerator p v v v so p v only will be there so p v and the, for the denominator only t n so n t so p v by n t equal to constant so this p v by n t will be otherwise called as a combined law of gaseous because it is the product of the combination of these three law okay and next to one n i'm already told that n is nothing else number of moles how many moles are there okay if you have considered one mole of a substance means one mole in the atom means how many substance are there means one into avogadro number okay how that much of molecules will be there so n equal to we never indicate because it is an assumption only so we never given as a 2 3 4 that much of number we never give that is why in place of one you have given as a mu mu mole so whatever it is if it is a one mole means one into avogadro number two means two into avogadro number so we just assume for that you have given the mu so automatically mu into avogadro number the number of molecules is mu into avogadro number we have to substitute at n here pv by mu n a t equal to kb kb again it is given as a constant some constant will be given kb is a boltzmann constant usually it is given for the temperature then next one mu n a it is also a, a given as r in place of mu n a it should be r so pv by rt equal to constant so automatically pv equal to rt this is the ideal gas equation some values for the kb and r and the avogadro's will be given here we know that the avogadro's value okay so finally these are the 
3 expansion in this lesson these are the important topics so how the expansion happened in the solid that means cubical linear cubical and superficial and next in the liquid apparent real and in the gas identify the ideal gas of equation these are the very important questions in this thermal physics thank you